Welcome back to Boiler House Garage and to part 10 of our video series testing super unleaded petrol for its octane rating. I'll start today's video by saying a huge congratulations to my sister Kelly and her husband Chris on the arrival of their new baby Lennon who was born a few hours ago this morning uh, weighing six pounds nine ounces. Uh, I know they've both been uh, trying for some time but as you can see the results are always worth it in the end uh, and I'll look forward to meeting my nephew very soon. If you've been following this channel for a while, you might remember uh, we've discovered some quite alarming results from the uh, SO Synergy Supreme 99 tests for Octane. As in the uh, parts of the country where we've tested uh, so far uh, to show it has no ethanol content, the Octane reading is showing as 93 RON rather than its uh, advertised 99. Uh, since then we did have a uh, sample uh, sent in by a subscriber from North Wales. Uh, this showed to contain ethanol, I believe it was about 2%. As the octane tester cannot read the octane number of an ethanol blended uh, petrol, I extracted the ethanol from the uh, North Wales SO sample uh, and then tested the remaining base petrol for its octane which showed to be 94 RON. So my hypothesis here is that SO have created a one-size-fits-all uh, additive package uh, for uh, national distribution and what it's doing is uh, basically assuming that uh, all of its super unleaded uh, products across the country are being supplied with the 2% ethanol uh, to make it uh, 99 uh, wrong. However, of course, in the areas that uh, don't include the ethanol, which is a, a good thing in most respects, it's slacking in the uh, necessary additives required to give it the octane rating of uh, 99 RON. Of course, to demonstrate that further, I've um, uh, taken some samples from a little bit further afield. We're uh, first going to try the closest one to the counties that we've tested so far. So we've had the North Wales sample. I've tested uh, several petrol stations in Oxfordshire and uh, Wiltshire. Uh, north of Oxfordshire is Northamptonshire, which is the first uh, SO Synergy Supreme sample that we'll be testing today. Uh, and then after that, I have another sample from uh, Peterborough, which is in Cambridgeshire. Uh, if you've seen the last video I've done on uh, Boiler House Garage on the road, I go into more detail how I'm uh, going to try and uh, get some of these uh, samples further afield and they may take take a while so I'm going to have to combine them with doing other trips uh, that I, if I'm doing other things uh, across the country. Uh, however, uh, you're still more than welcome to send in any samples if you're in any uh, county I haven't tested so far just out of interest or if you're suspicious that a garage isn't supplying you with a uh, super unleaded fuel that they're uh, selling you a, a 95 octane one as a uh, super unleaded and then please by all means I need 700 millilitres at least uh, to do the uh, tests with and uh, they can be sent in uh, quite easily using a, obviously an airtight uh, container that was uh, done before. If, if you check out the previous videos and look at the Bengal whales when you can see how uh, the sample was sent to me from there. Uh, but for now let's get on with the tests. So as with all previous tests, uh, we're going to be adding 300 millilitres of water to 700 millilitres of the test petrol. Then the water will pass through this petrol here, extracting any ethanol as it passes through. Uh, and from that, the water line should appear at 300 millilitres, as this is 300 millilitres going into here. Uh, if it is ethanol free, obviously if it extracts any ethanol, that, that level will raise and then we can determine how much ethanol is in there. Please refer to previous videos to see control tests and if you've got any questions about this testing method. That's it all. So straight away the line is 
settling at 300 milliliters. You don't have to wait that long as I've demonstrated in uh, previous control tests, uh, but we will just give it five minutes just to let the uh, frothing and wobbling line settle a little bit. So hopefully it's showing up in the video okay. The line has settled on 300 milliliters, so the SO Synergy Supreme picked up in an SO garage uh, just off the A45 on the outskirts of Northampton uh, is ethanol free. So now we know that it's ethanol free, we can continue with the octane test. So if you remember in the previous tests, the octane reading was showing as 93 RON on all the SO samples that I've tested. Uh, and then 94 RON on the North Wales sample that had the ethanol extracted, meaning it would actually be um, higher octane. And uh, we've discovered this to be ethanol free, and it, its Shell V Power uh, Tesco Momentum equivalents were showing like 101, 102 uh, RON. That doesn't necessarily mean it is that high of octane, it, it's just to show a consistency between the brands and we're getting because uh, a, a portable tester like this its accuracy is only going to be the instructions actually say it can be plus or minus three ROM so that you have to sort of take the results uh, with a, a pinch of salt there uh, as a number but then of course if all the higher octane brands are consistent with each other you know they're they're as advertised and of course now we're seeing a lower uh, reading on this on the SO brands there's clearly an issue somewhere but uh, so this is a Northampton uh, sample, let's find out uh, what it is. Oh, blimey, look at that. Oh, so just one county away, we now have an ethanol-free SO Synergy Supreme uh, showing the same result that the Shell V Power and uh, Tesco Momentum do. Oh, so that's, that's great news. So, oh, it does appear not to be a nationwide uh, issue then. So I'm now looking forward to testing the Peterborough one then because that's a county that's to the east of England and where I picked it up from Peterborough, that's actually based slightly uh, northwards as well. So that could well contain ethanol and be similar to the North Wales sample that we tested. However, from as far as I'm aware, it's only the north of England and Wales and of course uh, Scotland above it and Devon and Cornwall that have ethanol in the super and leadeds. But yeah, we look forward to finding that out. That's actually a great result. It makes things a little bit more interesting so I, I did kind of expect this to be the same fuel that we're we're getting in this area in the Oxfordshire and Wiltshire area which begs the question whether the uh, distribution network is is different whether the samples coming to Northamptonshire and let's assume Cambridgeshire are from one refinery or distribution plant and the samples that we're getting a bit further south uh, from a different area so a bit of research into the distribution network might be useful i also it would be prudent to retest so uh, fuel in this area again just to make sure that they haven't caught wind of it or something and um, managed to buck their ideas up basically if it does still show to be 93 ron in this area then it it might be more interesting to head further south i could actually go in towards the, head towards the south coast and pick up a sample there uh, to see if that's 93 or not. So I'm going to be immediately testing the Peterborough SO Synergy Supreme sample that I've picked up. Uh, that will of course be in another video which I'll try and get uploaded uh, as soon as possible. Hopefully you'll be seeing it tomorrow. Uh, so please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll uh, look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks for watching.